Joint Cole County Jefferson City stay at home order remains in effect at least until April 11th. KRCG 13's Jessica Hart today caught up with Mayor Kerry Turgeon. Jessica is live in the studio with details from their conversation. Carmen, we've been getting a lot of questions from viewers about why state workers are still going to their offices in Jefferson City when there's a stay at home order in place. I asked Mayor Kerry Turgeon that question and more. Here's what she had to say. To be clear, even if there's a state office within Cole County, they would still have to take their issues up with their supervisor that would then go to the state. You can't force those offices to have people work from home, correct? So that is something that those guidelines within state offices are governed by the state government, not local city government or the Cole County Health Department. So while we can put these regulations into place, it is different uh, who governs the state. They, they have to um, place those guidelines. So we cannot force them to do certain things. Mayor Trojan encourages anyone with questions about the stay at home order to visit cohealth.org for more information. Kermit. For car dealerships in Jefferson City, it's been one curveball after another. Someone said it comes in threes and I said it's actually been four because we had a big GM strike in the middle of things. We're waiting for the locust next. Their first curveball came with a twist. A tornado ripped through Jefferson City. The second, a hailstorm this past weekend. The third is proving to be the toughest one to clear. Um, business has fallen off tremendously. It's like overnight all of this stuff started happening with the virus and it just it's like a ghost town. It's fallen off in uh, all uh, aspects of the business uh, other than the collision center. With all the curveballs that hit Jefferson City car dealerships, last Friday's hailstorm brought a unique silver lining. The hail will be a positive effect. The roofers are going to be busy, the body shops are busy, your parts departments are going to be busy. We're getting phone calls, uh, quite a few phone calls, internet leads on, you know, what, what can we buy, um, what kind of condition. For customers, cars damaged by the hailstorm are still available at a lower price. This will help our, our business somewhat, not bring it back to normal, but it'll help us somewhat as we go through this uh, unknown extended period of time. A small dent in financial recovery for car dealerships, but a nice perk for those looking to buy. Now's the time. Low interest rates, you don't have to pay for them for three months, and right now, especially in Jefferson City, there's some deals. A Jefferson City radio personality continues to recover from COVID-19. KWAS Sunday morning talk show host Mike Ferguson spent time in a St. Louis area hospital's intensive care unit. Ferguson describes his painful experience to KRCG 13's Mark Slavitt. Mike Ferguson recently contracted the COVID-19 virus during a trip to Chicago. His symptoms began to appear about a week after his trip. And you just kind of get disoriented because you're coughing so hard because this thing is is going after your lungs so incessantly. Um, it's, it's pretty scary. An urgent care doctor diagnosed Ferguson with a bad cold. That diagnosis was wrong. Ferguson eventually spent nine days in a St. Louis area hospital battling the coronavirus. Ferguson found out he contracted COVID-19 while in the ICU. It was um, very painful in the lungs uh, because once I would start, for instance, having a, a coughing fit, and these could last 90 seconds, they could last two minutes, uh, and then you get some residual you know, pain from headaches and abdominal um, strain and, and things like that. But the really scary part is when you just can't suck in enough air and you just keep coughing out more air than you can bring in. Ferguson considers himself lucky after surviving COVID-19 in his late 40s. Ferguson believes he had an early release from the hospital after taking a three-day dosage of anti-malaria medicine. 